Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I'll be reading Daytime Star, episodes 63 to 64. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do have to blur 50% of this episode using the cat logo. So yes, guys, if you guys do want to read along with me, it's available on webtoons.com. But for anyone out there who wants to check it out with no censorship, no cat logo to blur, and also gain early access to everything that I post for the month of August, it is all available on patreon.com slash cktchaotic. And I can do that because it's private. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get started. Sionbe! I don't remember what happened. Did you arrive safely in Guangwon province? Yeah. I just got out of the shower and now I'm in bed. It sounds like you're still on set. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be a long one. How are you going to get home? It's late and Jing Won must still be away. Oh, um... Kang offered to take me home in his van. That's okay, right? Huh? Of course his manager will be riding with us, as well as Minna. Stop worrying about what I think. Huh? As long as you get home safely, that's all that matters to me. <laughs> Don't you have an early shoot tomorrow at 5? You should go to sleep. Yeah, call me when you get home. I don't know when my shoot will be over. Just go to sleep. Call me anyway. I'll put my phone on silent but and won't answer it. Hey, then what's the point? <laughs> I better go to sleep now. Remember to call. I mean it. But I don't want to wake you up. Let me leave a, a message instead. Call me. Ugh, fine. Then don't forget to put your phone on silent. <sighs> okay, I will. So make sure to call. Good luck with the rest of your shoot. <laughs> okay, sleep tight. Put... Silent mode off. Oh, he put the volume all the way up. Daytime Star, episode 63. Thank you for the ride, sir. I'm sorry you had to drive all the way here. <laughs> no problem. You must be exhausted. You should get inside and rest. Okay, drive safely. Bye, King. <laughs> Bye, Rua. Sweet dreams. Shh. King, sit down. Uh <laughs> He is too cute. <sighs> now that I'm home, I feel exhausted all of a sudden. And I still have to take up take off my makeup. Alright, I'm supposed to call Siyonbe. But I don't really want to wake him up. But if I don't, I probably won't hear the end of it. Right, I'll just call and hang up immediately so that he knows I called. Then at least I'll have something to say. But I did call, you just didn't pick up the phone. <laughs> Uh -huh. Hello? Is it over? Hello? Yura? Yura? Can you hear me? Who is it? Is it that bastard Sion Yun again? Uh -huh. Yura! Cut. Uh, hey Sion, why are you calling at this hour? I'm sorry to wake you, Guangsu, but you have to go over to Yura's right now. Huh? Why? Did something happen to Yura? I think Jin Yoon Yu Jin Yoon Yu went to see her. What? That bastard? I can't reach her on her phone, so you have to go over there right now. Uh, uh, Alright, I'm on my way. Oh, Si Yoon, I'll make sure she's safe no matter what, so don't worry and stay where you are. You know, you have to be up in three hours, right? By the time you arrive in Seoul, the whole thing will be over anyway, so don't come here and blow things out of proportion. Okay, see you. He is already driving there. Uh, Seon, why are you answering? You're scaring me. You're not already on the way, are you? See you. You're a why you little. You pretty popular these days, aren't you? It's been so difficult just to see your face. Her phone broke. Now we're finally alone. 
Oh, so damn pleased to see you again. He reeks of alcohol. What are you doing here? Shut up and leave before I start screaming. Huh. Go ahead, scream. Unlike you, I've already hit rock bottom. I've nowhere else to fall. I was feeling lonely down here alone. Why don't you join me? Huh? What? You can't? Yeah, I get it. You can't go down like this again, can you? When you've only just begun to see the light. Stop. What do you want? What do you still have left to say to me? Yura. You damn brat. <laughs> he changed expression really quick. Huh? You. You. Did you sleep with that bastard, Xiu Yun? To be continued. Oh. Yura. You. Did you sleep with that bastard, Xiu Yun? Answer me! Disgusting. Did you sleep with that jerk? Just hearing Sionbei's name come out of his dirty mouth makes me sick. Well, of course you did. After all, it's seeing you and Kane. There's no way you could afford to pass up a huge star like you. One more word out of your mouth and I call the police. Even if it means my downfall, I'll make sure you get locked up. <laughs> Whoa, look at you. There's nothing like a big shot boyfriend to boost your confidence, huh? Did you did you say you didn't want to be a garbage person like me? But looks like we're no, not that different, huh? You're right. It's true that Siombe offered me an opportunity, but I was offered that opportunity and was able to seize it. Because of that, of the skills I've been building up over the years as an actress, now that you want, you would understand what that means, since you have none. <gasps> you can tell he lacks sleep from, like, the puppy eyes right here. And he's also very drunk. You. You. How dare you. <laughs> oh. Dang. That is. Say it again. What, what did you say? Let go of me. Why don't you call your precious boyfriend for help, Yura? Let's see how long it takes for him to get here. Good idea. Where's your phone? Tell him to get over here now so I can bash his face in. Ah, there it is. Hey, why won't this thing turn on? Hey, hey! Where do you think you're going? Let go! Oh no. Falling. Huh? Yura, are you okay? Mr. Mun, Mun uh, how did you? That's not important. Are you hurt? I'm fine. Uh, ow. Are you alright? My ankle. Try not to move. We'll go to the emergency room as soon as I take care of... Hey, where do you think you're going? Stop! I can't get caught. If I get caught this time, my life will really be over. Jin Yu. Jin Yu. Huh? Yura? Hey, how about another drink at my place? <laughs> Great. Huh? What's up with that car? But the driver's drunk. <gasps> hey! Call the police! Oh god, hurry! Daytime Star, episode 64. It doesn't look like his car. It looks like Si Yun. Hey, mister, how about getting out of that chair, huh? You're really making it hard for me to work here. Ugh. How can anyone stay motionless for two hours straight? I mean, what are you so upset about? Thanks to your injury, I, I mean, that not that I'm actually thankful about it. But anyway, because of that, everyone was too busy to care about you running away from set. They just accepted your health-related excuse. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Seeyun isn't feeling well this morning. What? Is he alright? He's been working hard uh, these days. 
Yura wasn't seriously injured, so there's nothing to worry about. There. Just make sure to rest and you'll be fine. Phew. And we've already filmed plenty of episodes ahead, so no problem with the drama either. What? Yura got I injured? Which hospital is she in? Take me there now! She's no longer in the hospital. It wasn't that serious. And that bastard Jun Yun got himself locked in jail for damaging public property, refusing to take breathalyzer tests, and attacking a police officer. Oh, whoa, look at all those reporters outside. Well, no wonder it hasn't even been that long since he'd been, he was exposed by the anonymous post. Isn't he pol a politician Mun's son-in-law? He was. His wife divorced him recently. Huh? Oh, you're falling up. It's too bad you used to be a famous celebrity. Well, it only takes up one slip to ruin your whole life. Huh? Plus, it's that Jun Yu was too drunk to remember anything, so there's no chance of him mentioning Yura in relation to that night. Everything's fine. What are you still so worried about? Don't just sit there. I told Yura to stay out the, at the hotel before she moves to a new place. Why don't you go see how she's doing? Everything's fine. Then how come that bastard won't get any punishment for what he did to Yura? Where should I go? I told you. She's at the hotel. Her phone got smashed, so you have to call, call Jin Yun. Not her. I mean, that asshole. To be continued. Sorry guys, I'm trying to get used to this mouse and it keeps on clicking on the wrong areas and it bounced the screen. So I need to get better at the clicking uh, using this mouse. But I wonder what they're planning. He's, his face is like really upset. He's like, you know, this guy just won't leave you alone. You know, he won't ever stop. Honestly, if he's like this stalker, he will always find out where Yura is living, you know? Like, it's not hard to search up someone and figure out where their address is, you know? But, uh, it's, a, it's a good two episode, to, to be honest. A lot of drama. It's been a while. So, all right, guys, if you guys enjoyed my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye!